Hello folks and welcome back to Court Farm. Here we are and we've got a lot of work to do. Let's turn the time back up to times three. So yeah, we've been busy. We've been finishing off the contract work for those size contracts. Along with that, we've done one cotton harvest contract and one sugar beet. That's why the money is up as it is. So yeah, we got a bit of work to do. Um, we do need to go this way, we need to go the other way to head to the upper fields. Also, actually, what's right here, we'll put the combine away. Just lift that there. Actually, you know what? I think it's time we actually start taking care of our equipment. So, since this is done for the year, we will put a jet washer down. There we go. Whack one just somewhere there. Along with another toolbox. So, yeah, plan for today is bales. We need to get that straw bales. Along with that, we need to start prepping the fields for next year for things like the wheat and barley. Actually, not the barley because we're. But yeah, so the plan is obviously 6 and 107. Along with that little area by the farm, that is going to be a field beans. And I'm thinking for like 57, 59, and 109, we can do wheat because obviously we need grain coming in. Or should I maybe. Yeah, actually, you know what? Do that. 109, 59, 57 would be wheat. 52, which we'll buy, would be barley, which is currently in. Along with 53 and 56, they could be barley fields. 58 is oats, we're going to buy. And for 45, I'm thinking something like rye. So that's going to be planned in the new year. And the reason why a slight change is because we're going to do pig food and we need to wheat and barley. Just been looking around at some productions for pig food and that. And I find a very useful one here. The lizard bitten. Only three grand. Bear in mind it doesn't take much wheat and barley. It takes like a very small amount. I shouldn't know where again. Random levitation. Actually if we just temporarily place that. That's not going to be a permanent solution, we'll set it after it's three grand. But just demonstrate, so... For this we can do all sorts of pig foods, wheat, soybeans, canola, oats, and corn. I think when we get the oats, we also use the wheat and barley, along with the oats, to get pig foods. And they do require a very small amount. Tempted to do. Ah, just depends on where we stand after we get the loan in. Because obviously it's going to be a mini pound loan. But we do need at least one more tractor and some other bits. So. I should wash right here. Give this a quick wash. Get rid of that help menu. So yeah, a little bit, we need to start prepping the fields now, because I'll show the weather forecast in a sec. Don't know why I'm watching this now, since we are going to be back in the field, but, well, you know, just a little bit of work. Do no harm. So if we go and repair, repair. There we go. Whack that over there. Yeah, because if we look at the weather forecast for the next month, it is rain. Don't know how much, and it's going to be heavy rain, so... Because we need to get the mowing done, and if we're going to be soft and starting with the mowing and that, then... We need to start diversifying of what we do. 
around here. And does this field? No, it's not this field. It's no, it's 57, right? I think it's 57. The big field. If we have a look, and uh, is this field? So we'll start doing this field. Also, baking in these sorting out. So I should put that there for a sec. And we've already got these shore bells here. And one thing we did, which I didn't mention, was we did have like three normal bells, or your typical base game bells. And we did get rid of those, and we earned a couple of grand for that. But yeah, currently we've got 198,000 litres of bells. And sort of also been thinking like got hay bells, we got straw bells, let's get some silage bells in. Why not? So when we do our next cut in November, which will be in the next episode, yeah I'm thinking, why not? Just get put over there. Is there any more bells? I think there's two more bells in the field. None over there. None down there, just this one here. So yeah. But we've got still baiting on 59 and 109 to do. So we go and do that. This. Pop you on there. Shrap it all down. Actually, we've still got the baiter on these. We're paying that ourselves, so we'll cut through here. There ain't much straw on this side, that's because what we've been doing as well is just padding out the size bells and that, where we've been doing these contracts, just to get that extra bell in. Well, hey, what they don't know won't harm. Yeah, a bit of a sneaky tactic as a contractor, but needs must sometimes. We'll leave that there. I'll start doing the plowing. I think if we do a couple of headlands, start the work on it, and then we can come back and start doing the bathing. Yeah, I think. In fairness, everything we're planning, we've got ourselves pretty, up pretty good here. Things like the greenhouses are doing well. Tempted to expand on that in the ne next year now. But, again, a lot of that comes down to land, to have a lot what land in addition we'll buy. Really depends on what equipment we can get in as well. So yeah, the loan will be taken out in the next episode. We may still go into November in this episode, but especially with the daylight now we're going to be losing, so... But yeah, it's almost time to sell the straw net and other things, but I think a lot of that is January in that time. But one thing we're going to be selling later on is the canola. That is starting to peak in price and will peak sometime within the next month. But I'm half tempted just to get it done out of the way in the first week of November. As long as the price is close to its absolute peak. But anyways, we'll get it done and I'll see you folks in a few moments.
And just like that, we are done. So the worker is almost done with drop picking. And we're pretty much complete with the plowing. I'll say that was a nice little task overall, didn't take us too long. We really got a full load into the rock crusher. And we're making some lime. We'll turn that off temporarily. And this time we will sell the lime ourselves, not do it via well what you would call it via the sell of the like well, within the production plant, so oof. That was a bit of a bump in her did not realise. But yeah, with what we're saying about the fields, it does make sense and it is a good plan altogether. Yeah, because I think was it that's why we said like overall the cost of the fields would be like 800 grand, so if we could get extra money in from the contracts and that, then we could about just afford a new tractor or two. So one thinking is another large is between 200 and 300 horsepower tractor, and then like a small tractor, let's say a John Deere 6M. Or she might be under mediums, but it's got a small base. Ooh, tempted by some of these. Ooh, that's way expensive for maybe a 6300. Small, compact. Got options for front weight. Go up to 105. Got a front loader option. But there was one that we was using for a contract and actually looked quite nice, so actually maybe a base game one. Oh, maybe something like this as our next big tractor purchase. Go up to 350. But yeah, even that 300 horsepower for 200 grand. Oh, nice beacons. What's a knob spinner? <laughs> Can't tell. Ah, I find it. Ah, yes, yeah, the steering wheel, so you can have that knob on the steering wheel. Oh, can I proper kit this out? Have a front loader option. Ooh, and a variety of colours. Now that would be very nice. Something like McCormick. It's something different, a brand I haven't reused. But yeah, the tractor I was on about. Was it something like this? Yeah, it was like 7810 or something. And which ones do we have up here? Go with 75s, but you know, something like that. Okay, so not a small horsepower tractor, but still 225. And with front loader. Does have the option for hydraulics. Yeah, something like that perhaps. Or yeah, actually no, that's even better. 261. But it's not as compact, so mm. Yeah, not sure. Maybe go with the McCormick Aries. But anyways, let's get the rest of this being done, because this has been here for a while. Fair enough, we should have done it pretty much straight away from harvest, but... Unfortunately, we didn't let that happen. I 
do love this John Deere here, it's pretty nice. Let's see if the dealership will let us take this off of them. But then again, that goes into the hole, it's a used tractor in that. Um, I did evil something brand new, but 13 hours on this ain't too bad. It's got track, so it's slightly elevated. Or is it elevated? I'm not too sure actually thinking about it. Well, at least I think it's elevated. He's sort of missing out these bits. Like in cab, it's actually quite easy to focus on you know, getting everything perfect. Just the corners can be a bit iffy at times. I should have done that corner pretty well. If I had to guess how many bells we would get, no idea. Maybe if we empty what we've got in now. Almost two bells. From that, I'll say three, four, five. I'll say ten bells we'll get from this. Ten, maybe eleven. I'll push. That's not good my driving this, but yeah, I was always up to pushing out the best times with my driving. But anyways, I think let's do one more time lapse. Get us all done. And then if we lose the daylight then we'll see folks in the morning, if not we'll see you before then. And just like that, we are done. So once again, we'll put the last bit of stones from the field in. But also, we've been having a look, and I've noticed our fields are peppered with stones. So we need to take care of that. So 50, 59 and 29 will be rock picked. I think 58 has already got the wheat or the crop in, right? The oats. So yeah, that's got crop in already. What about these two water seems like so ooh, pretty hefty I would say. You know what we'll buy that field now 46. So all that's left left to do is buy 52, 53, 55 and 58. At least for now, maybe by 60 if you want to expand, of course expand upwards. Well, I am looking at like 88, how much is that? Ooh, 320, 452, 210. That's got a ton of stones in to remove. And I think that's what we would do actually I think 
yeah, buy those fields and once they haven't got crop in, then we'll. It does involve plowing, so I don't think we can just rock pick them straight up, right? Actually, we can check now. 56 is here. If we can rock pick them now, then you know what that saves us doing the plowing? I'm pretty sure. I know we can rock pick loose now. That's good to see. It's not. Let's go back and work on now. We do need to power this up though. There's no way of getting away with that. So what we do is park that over here. Because now we need to deal with the bells. So how many bells do we get in the end? In this field we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe a couple under, but rather be under than over. And in the other field, how many bells would we get? So I did say about 10, 11, so 6 in there, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, so I said about 10, 11 or 12, so not too far off, if, but considering the sizes of these bells, yeah, it's pretty hard to be wildly off. But yeah, and we'll get them put away. So that is another, what, 160? 192? 198? 208,000 litres off straw bells, so... I think in fairness we'll have to sell some of these, because I don't think... Don't need all this straw actually, but we'll do it we'll on, we'll put it away in storage and that. At the very least. So yeah, what I'm we'll gonna do is I'll finish this off, quick get this done, and then we'll skip till the morning. doing the rock picking because what we've done is by mistake obviously this was meant to be rock picked however these fields should have been mulched and we forgot to mulch them so oops my pad on that so if we have a look yeah none of these has been mulched so dang it we should have mulched them first then do the rock picking that was a mistake on my part, we can't do it now since it's a cultivated state. But what we've got and done is got the mulcher up here, we're going to mulch 45. And we'll get that remedied. So yeah, money's gone down a bit, and that's because one, we placed a small liquid tank to store the liquid fertilizer. Don't to leave it in the bowser all the time. Also, we've got ourselves a little water fill point. Gun drill down and pretty much plumbed in to the pond over there, I think, or at least groundwater. I'm not sure where the 
exactly got the water source from. But anywho, it's time to sell. And also we've got stones to sell. Not stones, lime. And actually quite a bit of lime, because from all those fields we did rock pick from, we got 51,000 litres of lime. And at the moment, best place to sell lime. We have a little look. Would be more money sent directly to the sell point rather than selling it to sell. I get an average price, so that's why we've got it done now. But yeah, also spent more than doing a harvesting contract. If I was we started till what, about half nine or so, because that's thing now we're in winter, the days are gonna get shorter. But for this month we'll be working from with workable light conditions from about ten to around about three, four PM, about yeah, five, six hours off working daylight. But thankfully we don't really have much to do apart from seeding now on most of those fields. Also got the grass fields. But we don't need to do much on that because we're doing fill beans on that. And they need to be sorted and planted until the next year. But yeah, we're going to go to the value view stores. That is the best price to sell canoe And dang it, we've gone past it, so. Anyway, so have a quick look as I've been sort of rambling on. Canola. Yeah, 35888. However, we can get 3665 from the value view source, so we go and set it to there. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's the best price. See how much we get from our first product on the farm, so. Should be pretty decent money. Put the brakes on, please. There we go. And look at that money rocket up. Nice, that is 151 grand. So a bit more actually than we expected. And all we need to do now is sell the line quickly. So yeah, do a quick time lapse, get it loaded up, get it sold. And that's where I think we'll leave it for today. Three grand from that, so yeah, not bad. Especially just it's simply a byproduct of farming work. So, oh, dang it! Ah, I hit that. I was like, what did I hit? Oh, yeah, the post. That makes sense. So, <coughs> so yeah, with our first set of sales, we're in decent money, and still got more stuff to sell. So, if we have a look. Got the straw to sell, that would be in December. 147, currently 137, so in fairness, we can set it now even. And I think we got the field beans. Got a bit of manure in that. Yeah, four grand, not a lot at the moment. I may, yeah, I may still sell everything next month. To see what we get at the end of it, but then seed that's going to peak around December at 12.48. Actually, we can do sell them now, sell them to the garden center. Yeah, 12.36, 12.48. So 
I think we'll look into that in the next episode. But also, Phil Beans ain't going to be ready till June because at the moment, two grand. Wait a little bit longer, I will double that. So, we'll wait on that. There's nothing else there. Also, I think December, or as it knows, February. Yeah, January, February is where we sell our greenhouse products. 3,300. And I'm over very touching three grand, so a few pallets here and there off. But I very much doubt we'll hit that within the next two months. And we've got to do the mowing. But we will sell other silage from one of the bunker silos in the next episode. Just to make room for the silage that we're going to be putting in from the fields again. One last time for the year to get the final cut in. But yeah, apart from that, that's what I'm going to do for today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to come down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for to do, hope you're in a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer, Envoy Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.